Welcome to Nano at Stanford. This introduction video is for scientists and engineers who wish to get started in our experimental ecosystem. Nano at Stanford is a shared user facility for independent research. Dedicated technical staff maintain the tools and train users, while users pay an hourly rate for tool time. We are comprised of four facilities, SNF, SNSF, MAF, and Sigma, that offer a large variety of nanofabrication and characterization instrumentation. SNF and SNSF are the two largest facilities, and both have four core thrusts. They host complementary and overlapping capabilities, while MAF and Sigma are focused on a single instrumental technique. Rearranging the chart, let's look at each facility's instruments. SNF is geared towards silicon semiconductor processing with a clean room, with expanding tool sets through the XFAB, MOCVD lab, and electronics shop. SNSF accommodates a larger scope of material processing and has specialized characterization techniques such as X-ray and electron microscopy. The majority of researchers use both facilities. MAF specializes in electron microprobe, and SIGMA specializes in inductively coupled mass spectroscopy. The best place to learn about our capabilities is through our websites. The four facilities are run by different technical staff and have their own rules and regulations. MAF and SIGMA are single capability facilities. With MAF's electron microprobe, you can evaluate structural defects and phase distribution within complex samples. SIGMA's mass spectrometer includes key capabilities in the areas of radiogenic isotope geochemistry and highly sensitive elemental analyses of both solid and liquid samples. On the other hand, SNF and SNSF have over 100 tools combined with instruments organized by capability. Find your tool and scroll to its own web page in which there is a brief overview, research examples, training procedures, and other resources. You can also find the hourly cost of each tool by clicking through to the lab members portal. The SNF website and equipment guide is even more detailed highlighting semiconductor processing specifics such as cleanliness, allowed materials, and substrate size. Now that we know more about Nano and Stanford's capabilities, how do we join? The first step is to identify your needed tools and discuss any new research projects with facility staff to overview safety concerns. Then one registers as a user, providing departmental and group affiliation, as well as a PTA number to charge for tool time. Once your registration is approved, you can create a Badger account, which we will discuss shortly. This process can take one to three weeks, so plan accordingly. Next, you will need to complete a facility-specific orientation and safety training, usually one to two hours. These trainings are generally scheduled once weekly. Finally, you will need to complete the instrument-specific qualification, which for basic tools can take one to two hours, but for advanced tools, such as the electron microscopes, can require several multi-hour sessions over multiple weeks. Once these steps are done, you will be authorized to reserve and use the tools for your research. To enable several hundred users to share Stanford's tools, we use calendaring systems. The primary calendaring software for SNF and SNSF is called Badger, and SNF and SNSF each have their own Badger client. Please note that Sigma, Math, and the Electron Microscopes have their own calendars. For external users, the onboarding process is longer, as there are extra steps to register your organization, set up a payment processing account, and get the appropriate Stanford credentials. The Nano at Stanford Shared Facilities are found in the Engineering Quad. SNF is housed entirely within the Allen Building, while SNSF is split between the Shriram, Spilker, Moore, and McCullough Buildings. MAF is in McCullough, while Sigma is in Green Earth Sciences. Lastly, for users who publish research with the aid of our tools, it is important to acknowledge the use of our facilities and the source of our funding from the National Nanotechnology Coordinated Infrastructure Program. It is also critically important to report your published work with us as this is the main metric with which we measure our effectiveness. You'll also get a chance to win some Nano at Stanford merch. For any remaining questions, explore our capabilities online or email us at nnci underscore access at list.stanford.edu. Additionally, click through to watch a short video on how to navigate the Badger interface.